Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a while since we've been comfortable bringing someone from our audience along on an adventure. But this holiday season, we've decided that it is time to change that. To celebrate the launch of our Black Friday week starting today, and in the spirit of this week's theme of Live the Spark, we will be selecting three people from three different countries who purchase from any of our holiday drops, including the previous one, to join us on an adventure next year. Each purchase that you make will serve as an entry to the raffle that we'll be making. On top of that, for this week and this week only, we'll be giving away for free the brand new Seeker Necklace 2.0 for every purchase of a $45. And you can also be proud knowing that Seek Discomfort, although we are a small company, is evolving into being likely the first YouTube created clothing brand to become a carbon positive company as just one part of the many steps we hope to take as part of our Seeker sustainability project. So go to seekdiscomfort.com, check Check out this Black Friday collection of the theme Live the Spark, get your free seeker necklace, and I look forward to meeting the three of you who will be joining us on an adventure next year. And passport. I just went through hell with Norwegian immigration. They're not letting him through. There is absolutely no way that we're doing this without him. Like, I don't even want to do it anymore. The immigration officer gave me 25 minutes, otherwise I get deported. Well. Of all the things that could have ever gone wrong while filming an episode, this one was definitely the worst. What was supposed to be a fun adventure to the northernmost city in the world resulted in Amar being put in a situation where he could be deported to a country that he'd never been to. But first, let's back up a little. If you saw one of our most recent episodes, you would know that Amar just received a new citizenship to the island country of St. Kitts, meaning he was finally free to travel to all of the countries he'd once been restricted from with his Egyptian passport. And with this new passport in hand, we couldn't have been more excited to take him along with us to see all of the strange corners of the earth. Which leads us to the trip we'd planned to embark on to unquestionably the most remote location we've ever traveled to, Svalbard one of the few places on earth that has never had any kind of native population as the conditions here were much too gruesome to survive. At the doorstep of the North Pole, it is basically as high up north on this planet as you can possibly get, and thus naturally home to the northernmost town in the world, Longyearbyen, a destination that even the most experienced travelers rarely make it to, which is why traveling to this set of islands has been on our bucket list for years. But little did we know that our plans were quickly going to get thrown out the window with the most stressful travel experience we've ever had. But before any of that chaos ensued, we were met at our first destination with a different kind of chaos. Yes! <laughs> it's been too long. <laughs> Joining us on this trip is our good friend Andreas Hem, who we hadn't seen in two years. He filmed our two documentaries with us, as well as our jump with Will Smith back in 2018. And to celebrate being reunited, he greeted us with the most nonsensical airport pickup we'd ever had. Hey guys, welcome to Norway. Boys! And I think the message was clear. Norwegians, or at least these ones, are freaking crazy. airport pickup I've ever had. A plus for originality. What? To complete our journey to Svalbard, the next day we were due to catch our final flight from Norway to the Arctic. And it was this leg of the journey where things went wrong. Yeah. Where is Amar? So, uh, we had an extremely frustrating and disappointing and honestly depressing situation because he's the only one that had a, an American proof for his vaccine and they're not accepting it. So they literally like right before boarding they're like you can't come she's literally telling us to our face you can't enter norway with this vaccine proof and we're like we're in norway right now <laughs> i couldn't stop thinking on the flight like amar can't catch a break after not being able to travel for his whole life because of his passport and now this stupid technicality of him not having the european proof that he's vaccinated got him set back so we're doing everything we can to see if we can get his American vaccine proof converted to an Amer European one so he can actually come. He sent us a voice note. Trying to get a hold of a Norwegian doctor to see if there's anything they can help me with. I'm at the hotel in Tromsø right now. Uh, I've just been on the phone trying things, different things for the past hour and a half. God damn it. Went from highly excited to sour start of the trip. After 24 hours of trying and failing to get his vaccination card converted, 
things went from bad to worse. Amar tried to go back to the airport equipped with a negative COVID test hoping for a kinder officer, only to land on the lady in charge who decided to begin the process of deportation. I just went through hell with Norwegian immigration because my COVID vaccine card isn't acceptable here. They want, they want to deport me back to St. Kitts, which is the country that I have a passport from. I've never been there. And wow, it's been like the most stressful travel experience I've ever had. The immigration officer gave me 25 minutes to show her a scannable QR code for my vaccine. Otherwise I get deported. Now, in this part of the story, things got so stressful and high risk that we didn't even think about recording. Except for this one picture Tommy took that I think captured the mood. And just as we were about to lose all hope, someone from the Yes Fam saved Amar by converting his American vaccination certificate to the European system in the final moments before Amar was to be deported. I literally, like when I say literally, I mean literally, just dodged deportation by 10 seconds. The woman, the, the immigration officer came in and she goes, do you have a code? I checked my email, there was nothing. I was like, oh no, not yet. She's like, okay. As she was saying that, I refreshed my email one more time and I ended up receiving a code from Germany. These are the highest stakes I've ever gone through because getting deported would complicate my travels for the rest of my life. Every application that I submit, everything that I do, I'll have to mention that I got deported at some point in my life. All right, this is round two. <laughs> round three, actually. Oh my God. <laughs> Finally! Finally. Now we can go. Yeah, exactly. Here's my passport. Oh my god. Today's people were very, very nice. All right, Svalbard, here it comes. The plane has landed. He could have been in the process of getting deported, and now he's coming through here. You made it! I made it. God. Some of the beer. Tell me about it. As relieved as we were to finally be reunited with Amar, we wanted to create a dramatic reenactment of how excited we truly were. Odyssey. Oh, I'm our family made the small bard. Oh, yes! We're here! This is this is the this is exactly how I imagined it being. Like uh... And with our Habibi finally back with us, we are finally allowed to enjoy this strange Arctic town. What have we gotten ourselves into? I don't think any of us realized how insane this is gonna be. Besides tourism, research and mining have been the two main industries in Longyearbyen. But as coal has become less and less popular around the world, many of the local facilities have become abandoned, leaving remnants of the past everywhere around town. Longyearbyen is also home to basically the northernmost everything. The grocery store, gas station, church, post office, commercial airport. As you can imagine, the list goes on. After spending the next three days exploring a very strange abandoned city, which you'll get to see in the next episode, we decided to get in contact with a subscriber who had saved Amar from being deported to see if we could make it up to him by joining us on an adventure. All right, here we go. Where's our savior? Oh my God. So, you would not believe like the disaster that you saved you from. I can't wait to tell you about it. But yeah. we wanna we wanna make that happen in person. So yeah. I have a question for you, Thomas. Would you like to join us on a trip to the northernmost town in the world in Svalbard as a thank you for saving Amar? I would say yes. Uh, can I, so yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. <laughs> but the dates. Oh my yes. God! It would be you would be leaving literally today, and then you would we would go for the next few days. Yes. Okay. Amazing. It's a yes. All right. Perfect. Let's make it happen. 
<laughs> I'm excited to meet the man who saved me uh, from traffic complications the rest of my life. He's in one of these rooms. <laughs> How are you, bro? You saved my life, man. Oh, yeah. My pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Welcome to Svalbard. Hi, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you have no idea. He, he, it literally came down to the second. I swear to God, like Dora sent me the message. She's like, can you go to the pharmacy right now? I'm like, all right. I reached the pharmacy. She sent me the documents. I saw the, they are your documents. Yeah. Just talked to the pharmacy guy. He was like, okay, yeah, all good. Wow. Jesus. None of us would be here yeah. if it wasn't for you. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> what are you studying in Germany? Uh, mechanical engineering. Well, what do you want to do after? Focusing more on energy technique. So solar energy and wind energy. So. It has a bright future. Yeah. So, uh, high companies out there. <laughs> <laughs> Leave his CV in the description. <laughs> <laughs> just like copy paste all of it. Toast to Anurag for just making this trip wow. happen. Mm. So, I'm, I'm very grateful that you exist. I'm very grateful that our community exists. Cheers to you and cheers to the cheers Yes to fam. You. Yeah. I met you when uh, at the airport, but you were like. Wait, yeah. so we've met before? Yeah. No way! Wow! So he ended up in our video. Crazy. Wow. Photo right there. Almost two years ago exactly, huh? Good morning. It's minus nine degrees Celsius. Yep. Fresh. Extremely cold. So this is actually though the northernmost city in the world. I don't know why people built here, but they did, so. <laughs> Anurag, the next Yes Theory editor. I'm the new guy. I'm down for Anurag. Yeah, nice. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Who are you? you already have. What's your name again? Tommy. Been here for like five years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are about to get on a hike up into the mountains. It feels like we're on the set of Interstellar, which is Anurag's favorite movie. Pretty Turns cool. out the North Pole is cold. What? What? North Pole is actually cold. You heard it here first, folks, from the new recruit that's replacing uh, Tommy. Can I talked to you. This whole thing about me like being gone from yesterday is it's just a joke, right? I'll be right there, guys. Yeah, we're ready to go. Woo! Hike time. Hike time. Ready. Say something inspirational. Every king was once a baby, every building once a blueprint. So don't worry about your future. Live life in the present. Wow, that was that was great actually. Finally guys, the adventure begins. We're going on a hike right now. Out in the wilderness of Svalbard, the northernmost inhabited place on earth. What? Going to this cave? Yeah, we will try. <laughs> try. I mean, we'll try. <laughs> Take the headlights. Let me go first. Yeah. This theory invites you to go somewhere really remote and walk into a dark hole. Always say yes. Always yeah. say yes. Headlight. Okay. Watch out. The ice can be thin. Oh my God. Whoa. Whoa. Can you walk? Whoa. A little scared, but yeah. I'm not coming back to Svalbard anytime soon, so why not? <laughs> okay, we are entering the ice cave. This is crazy! How is it formed like this? Guys, look at this crack. Oh, yeah. what? This is where you find like Megatron or something stuck in the ice. Or Captain America. For sure, yeah, man. That was done. That is such a block of ice. Best community on YouTube, that's what I say. 
with this flag being raised in the North Pole, we've officially had two Seek Discomfort flags, one in the North Pole and one in Antarctica. Woo! Woo! One, two, three, Seek, Seek Discomfort! Discomfort! It makes me so incredibly proud that we have a community like the one we have with so much passion and dedication towards the message and, and really living a life that seizes all that exists outside of your comfort zone. Yeah, sure. They're like famous YouTubers. <laughs> you should check oh. them out. <laughs> are you impressed? Yeah, so you are actually famous. <laughs> <laughs> nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. One of uh, 1700 speed bolts uh, in the world. This is probably the most famous though. It's been already used once in 2016 after the war in Syria because there's a, a seed bank in a, near Aleppo and that got destroyed so they came and withdrew some some seats from here so it came came, yeah, in, handy. came in handy it's crazy that uh, i feel like so many people have heard of this and it's here and there's just nobody else here this will protect all the seeds of humanity in case of war and climate change and we're gonna put a little red berry in front of it <laughs> <laughs> hey norway guess what no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you dance? Come on, get in there! Hey, oh! 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 <laughs> you should never, never, never be on YouTube. <laughs> I didn't think I would have a dance party in front of the seed vault ever in my life, but there it is. <laughs> Say something super smart. It's not about the uh, destination, it's about the journey. <gasps> no that was, way! That was, if you enjoy the journey, you will enjoy your life. Wow! Wait for it, wait for it. It's neither, it's about the company. Oh! Journey sometimes sucks ass. <laughs> <laughs> like the journey, the journey sucks. Journey. Everything sucks. And you know what? People also sometimes suck. It. That's why you care more about choosing the people because that's why you have control over. I like see. the journey itself, you have no control over the journey sometimes. Get one throw. Loser jumps in the water. Ow. Uh, you had one bounce! You just had to do one! Are you going for it? Is this a bad idea? Tell me. If he jumps, I'm gonna have to jump for them. <laughs> oh, come on, Iceman. You're a beast. I'm a beast. <laughs> oh my god! It's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. It's hot, 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 well done, buddy. Wow. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Are you okay? I'm feeling amazing, dude. <laughs> I am very, very <laughs> impressed by you. You did a you did better than anyone that I've ever taken in ice water. Yeah. Truly. We'll get a warm shower very soon. We have been running into Yes Fam all over town since we arrived. Which is, which is weird. <laughs> which is really strange because we're in the Arctic. We're like in the as <laughs> north as it gets. But it's also amazing so this morning we thought what if we do the most northern meetup for any youtube channel in the whole entire world it's a lot more people than uh, i thought i did not know it was going to be this morning uh, This adventure truly became a complete odyssey, from excitement to nightmare to finally joy and complete celebration. Say goodbye, Svalbard. Goodbye, Svalbard. <laughs> I'm a monsieur. In many ways, this episode really embodies how the past 18 months have felt for us. Endless setbacks because of COVID in our financial, mental, and physical well-being, from being separated with visa problems and COVID not allow us to film like we used to, to now slowly and steadily feel like we can be ourselves again. We're honestly both excited to be back and also exhausted from all the fear of not making it all this way. At this point, however, we feel fired up and ready to double down on everything we set out to do when we started this channel. And one movement we really hope to take to the next level in 2022 is our clothing line and motto, Seek to 
Discomfort, which is why we are super excited that this quarter, Seek Discomfort is evolving into becoming a carbon positive company, meaning that we offset more CO2 than we produce. It is within the spirit of what we do to be mindful of our planet as we grow and pursue our own dreams. And then in the spirit of our current drop, Live the Spark, we'll be selecting three of you from three different countries who purchase from any of our current holiday drops to join us on an adventure next year. And as a final reminder to kick off our Black Friday week today, we've also decided to bring back the reinvented and redesigned highly requested Seeker necklace as a gift with purchase for every order above $45. So to wrap the message louder and prouder than ever before, please check out seekdiscomfort.com right now. Get yourself a free Seeker necklace and we'll see you on Friday for our epic part two of this trip.